We're given f of x comma y equals x cubed y squared, and asked to determine the directional derivative of f in the direction of the vector with components three comma negative two and at the point negative one comma one. Let's first look at this graphically so we understand what we're finding. Here we see the graph of the surface, and again we're asked to find the value of the directional derivative at the point negative one comma one, which would be this point here in the xy plane. The corresponding point on the surface would be this point, or to find the z coordinate of the point on the surface, we'd have to substitute the x and y values from this point into the function f of x comma y. So from this point on the surface, we want to find the directional derivative in the direction of the vector with components three comma negative two, which is this red vector here, again in the xy plane. So the value of the directional derivative would be the slope of this blue tangent line to the surface at this point moving in the direction of this red vector. And notice how if we move in the direction of the red vector from this point, we'd be moving uphill, and that's why the slope of the tangent line in this direction is positive. And let's go ahead and rotate this so we can see this from different angles. Notice I've also included the plane that contains the directional vector to give this a better perspective. Now let's go back to our work. Given a function f of x comma y, which is differentiable, the directional derivative of f in the direction of the unit vector is given by the partial derivative of f with respect to x evaluated at the point x comma y times cosine theta plus the partial derivative of f with respect to y evaluated at the point x comma y times sine theta. So to find the value of our directional derivative, we'll have to find the partial derivatives and evaluate them at the point negative one comma one. In order to find cosine theta and sine theta, we'll find the unit vector in the same direction of our direction vector with components three comma negative two. So we're given the function f of x comma y equals x to the third y squared. So let's first find the partial derivative with respect to x. So we differentiate with respect to x, treating y as a constant. So because the derivative of x to the third with respect to x would be three x squared, the partial derivative with respect to x would be three x squared y squared. And now we need to evaluate this at the point negative one comma one. So we'd have three times negative one squared times one squared, which equals positive three. And now we'll find the partial derivative with respect to y. So we differentiate with respect to y, treating x as a constant. And notice how the derivative of y squared with respect to y would be two y. So the partial derivative with respect to y would be x cubed times two y or two x cubed y. And now we'll evaluate this at the point negative one comma one. So we'd have two times negative one cubed times one. So here we have negative two. Now let's find the unit vector in the direction of the direction vector. So if we let this vector be vector v, the unit vector would be equal to vector v divided by the magnitude of vector v. So vector v has components three comma negative two. The magnitude is going to be equal to the square root of three squared plus negative two squared. Notice so here we're going to have the square root of nine plus four, the square root of 13. Let's write this as one divided by square root 13 times the directional vector. Let's go ahead and multiply here. So the unit vector would have an x component of three divided by square root 13 and a y component of negative two divided by square root 13. The unit vector is also equal to the vector with components cosine theta comma sine theta. So now we have all the information we need in order to find the value of the directional derivative. We know the value of the partial derivative with respect to x at the given point is equal to three the partial derivative with respect to y at the given point is equal to negative two. And we also know that cosine theta is equal to three divided by square root of 13, and sine theta is equal to negative two divided by square root of 13. This is all we need in order to find the value of the direction derivative in the direction of the given vector at the point one comma negative one. And let's find this on the next slide. The directional derivative of f 
at the point negative one comma one in the direction of the vector three comma negative two is going to be equal to the partial derivative with respect to x evaluated at the point which is equal to positive three times cosine theta which equals three divided by square root thirteen plus the partial derivative of f with respect to y evaluated at the point which is equal to negative two times sine theta which equals negative two divided by square root thirteen. So here we have nine divided by square root thirteen plus this would be four divided by square root thirteen which gives us thirteen divided by square root thirteen. So again this is the slope of the tangent line at the point negative one comma one on the surface in the direction of the vector with components three comma negative two. Let's also get our decimal approximation for this value. Thirteen divided by square root thirteen to four decimal places would be approximately three point six zero five six. So going going back to the graph of our surface we just found the slope of this blue tangent line to the surface at the point negative one comma one in the direction of this red vector. I hope you found this helpful.